Hello, welcome to episode 16 of Franny Do Makes. My name is Fran, um, I'm joining you today from a cloudy and overcast Leeds in the north of England in the UK. Um, this is my channel where I talk about um, the things that I've been making, excuse me I've got an itchy nose, um, things I've been making over the last couple of weeks, mainly knitting, mainly knitting this week, um, but I do sometimes do some crochet, do some sewing, do some embroidery or cross stitch things and bits and bats, whatever I'm doing. So if that's your sort of thing, um, I've got quite a bit, well not loads, I've got, I've no finished objects, but I've got some works in progress, I've got a few acquisitions and I've got some plans for the next um, couple of weeks as well. Um, um, so let's get straight into it. I've got a lovely cup of tea in my giant panda mug. Um, so grab yourself a project if that's your sort of thing. Um, have a cup of tea or a coffee or a whatever um, and settle down. Um, so as I said, I live in the UK and it's been a funny old couple of weeks since I last um, made a video. Um, so we did lose our darling Her Majesty the Queen um, a few, well, just over a week ago now. Um, uh, so yeah, it's been a funny old feeling in the country. Um, lots of people have been quite upset, sad and you know, it's been amazing to see all the people coming out and the flowers and everything and just everyone, well the majority of people anyway, being um, quite emotional and wanting to support everybody else. Um, so yeah, it's been a funny old couple of weeks. Um, yeah. I love the Queen and, you know, we had the Platinum Jubilee just recently and it's it's just really sad. You know, she's been in everybody's lives for 70 years. You know, I've never known another monarch or any other person in charge of us that long. So it's a really, I don't know, I'm not upset, but it's a really weird feeling, I think. I was upset when I found out, I had a little tear. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so we've had the um, bank holiday yesterday with the funeral which unfortunately for us coincided with the four year anniversary of um, my mum's passing. Um, so that was a funny day yesterday. Yeah, I can't believe it's been four years. Oh, I miss her, I miss my mum so much. Anyway, let's get aside from that. Let's talk about the knitting. Oh, I do have uh, what's on the wall. So let's start with what's on the wall. This is not knitting, this is a crochet. Um, so this is the XY scarf um, by Joanna Lindahl. It's um, made with um, a Shapier's Whirl, which is a fading um, yarn. It's a cotton yarn, um, a four ply. Um, it's a really easy, nice pattern. It's great for these fading yarns, or maybe if you had a nice speckled or something. Um, it's a really good size. I really like to wear it, um, and because it's cotton, it's not so heavy. Um, but yeah, that's what's on the wall. Um, as I said, I don't have any finished objects this week, so I thought I would wear a piece of knitting, um, which you won't have seen because I made this before I started doing the podcasts. So this is the Summer Sorrel pattern. Sorry, my sleeves are curling up a bit there. Um, Summer Sorrel by um, Wool and Pine Designs. And I'll just get up a bit closer, get a booby shot. Um, I made this with some Giddy Yarns um, yarn. I think it was a merino singles, which is probably not the best idea for a garment, but it was one of my first intros into knitting garments anyway. Um, and this is the colour Hide and Seek, which is a green. It doesn't photograph very well. It's much more green. It's got more of a yellow tone than what it looks like on the, on the screen. Um, so yeah. I really enjoyed knitting this. I was a bit concerned about the neckband because I'd never done a... I can't remember what it was. Like, an, is it an I-cord? No. 
it was a strange um, cast on and it looked quite holy but it's a really sturdy nice neckline and then these dip stitches that you work um, sort of inside out to start with and then you flip it round and then so it's like reverse stocking it for the rest of the body. So I thought I'd wear that for you today. I don't wear it very often because although it's like a t-shirt it's still wool so I still find it quite warm. And I did put it in the washing machine, which it washed fine, but I put it I put it on the wool wash and I put it in a um like a laundry a little laundry bag I have for like bras and stuff, but it has a zip and it's kind of I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like felted a little line. Like a little fuzzy bit. I mean it's not noticeable for anyone except me, so it's no big deal. Right, so um, I have got some progress on some other things. I've got a new cast on um, to show you as well. And I do have my um, mystery knit along. Stephen West colours have arrived and I bought some other stuff as well. Not loads, so don't worry. I won't be bombarding you with acquisitions. That'll be next time. Right, so I have got some progress done on my daily sweater because this is using my Chowgo needles and I really need to get it finished before the MCAL starts um, because I'll want to use the cords and the needles for that. So I have... Um, when I last showed you, I was just here. So I've just done a bit of the front. So now I have finished um, the neck and shoulder shaping, which um, you do with short rows, wrap and turns, and they've come out really nice. I'm really pleased with them to make this sort of, this shoulder slope, basically. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. So the front is finished and then I picked up the back from here and I've knit all the back and then I have joined the seam um, here which you do as a three needle bind off so you have a visible seam. So now I've just got to do the collar is the next thing and then the sleeves. So my only concern is that I've only got this left of the dark um, this of the non-dark I'm worried that I might run out of the dark so I'm gonna have to be careful with it so I have bought some more of the blue dye that I used for this um, in case I need to over dye some other stuff because I really don't want to have to buy any more of this yarn because this was a deep stash get rid of stuff but um, I tried it on it seems okay I'm thinking once it's had a wash and a relax it might soften up a little bit um, but because I did the extra rows on the stripes I did like um, th two three did I do four? I think I did four extra rows on each stripe because um, I've heard a lot of comments that this yarn shrinks when it's washed, um, which I did pre-wash all my skeins, all the wool before I'd, I've knit it up. I don't know whether that'll make any difference or not, but I've purposefully made it sort of longer. I mean, it's not overly long, so I don't know. I did get gauge, which I mean, Kelsa Breeze, that never happens, does it? So that's my daily sweater. So like I said, hopefully by next episode, I want that off, I want that done. So I need to get cracking on that this week. So that's that. I have also done a new cast on, which I cast this on thinking, oh, maybe I can get it done for Yarndale so I can wear it at Yarndale, but I mean, I might. It doesn't take long to do it, but I want to get that other one finished. 
I've only got a week. So this is a Magpie Tendencies. And it just looks like a curly mess, really. Um, here you go. So you've got this crazy in your face pink, which was some leftovers from my shawlography that I showed last week. Um, so yeah, that's the collar, the um, sorry, the neck band. I'm gonna drop it in my teeth. Um, the neck band there, which is an eye cord, and then the shoulders, and then the main colour is some bobble yarn. Um, I'll show you the ball. It's this lovely um, bobble sock yarn from Truly Hooked. And the colourway is Light Fury. Um, so, in the pattern, I am at. So, I've done the back, I've done the front, join in the round. So really all I've got to do is join in the round and knit and it's on massive, it's on 6.5 millimetre needles, it's a really loose gauge. Um, so I might be able to get that finished, I might be able to get it finished for Yarndale. But I need the, I need the cards off the other thing. So let's see, when is the, I have another week don't I after this week. Yes, so maybe this week I can finish that, get it washed and blocked by Saturday and then I can wear it on the Sunday. It'd be nice to wear a knitted thing, wouldn't it? So that's my Magpie Tendency. The pattern is by Skinanigans. Um, and I'm, like I said, using 6.5mm needles as per the pattern. I followed the pattern as it says. Um, it's really well it's really well laid out is the pattern it has lots of um places for you to tick off your progress and like your repeats are really well um, noted for each size it's a really good pattern for printing out i'd say good pattern for printing out and, and, and marking your stuff off which is quite good so that's that sorry i feel a bit a bit out of breath for some reason talking too much so the next two things are socks that I showed last week or last episode I've not made a whole lot of progress on them um, but I have finished one sock of one pair oh, I've a blocker. Oh, I can't seem to shake I've not got a cold but I've constantly got like a sound like I've got a cold like I've got something in the back of my nose all the time. And oh my God, I've been sneezing. Sneezing so much this morning. <sighs> anyway. Right, so this is um, my cold brew socks, another pair of those. Um, this is using the self-striping yarn from um, the Lonely Knitter. I have the, yeah, I've got it in here. That's Laura at the Lonely Knitter. She has her own um, podcast. Um, so yeah, that's using that, which is a sock set that comes with the blue. And this is um, the Buzz Lightyear inspired colourway that's to infinity and beyond. So toe up, Turkish cast on, increase to 64. I'm using 2.25 needles. These are my um, Leica, 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 I don't know how you say it, Leica Driftwood needles that I got for the plane, which I'm actually really enjoying using. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, Fish Lips Kiss heel. And then a two by two rib and an elastic bind off. I think I did about 17 rows. It's quite a deep, 
quite a deep cuff on those. But yeah, I love this pattern. Um, it's my favourite one for um, cell striping. When you've got a hand dyed one and you want to show it off nicely, does it really nice, does that? So yeah, I would highly recommend that. That's the Cold Brew Socks by Alison of Lofty Loops. So that's that. Oh, I'm going to be done really quick this week. Oh, no, I've got quite a bit to talk about other than that. Right, so my next one is... Um, oh, I should be saying about the bag, shouldn't I? So this is um, from Fearless Yarns, this bag. And this bag is from Amelia X Joy. I think she made the other one as well, but... I've got this direct from her and you can add on, like, a handle and bits and bobs. So, in this one is um, Minnie's socks, my daughter's socks, which I use in the King Cole Footsie, which is an acrylic yarn. Um, so, I'm just, I'm just on the rib, just doing a 2x2 two two rib. So, they're just a vanilla sock, 52 stitches. With a fish lips case heel. Awesome. So yeah, I've just finished the... I'm just working on the rib for those. Um, but this weekend... Oh, I was away with my friends this weekend. My friends from school. Um, and we went to Aysgarth, which is a little village in... Um, in Yorkshire, in the Yorkshire Dales, um, they filmed some of um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves there. It was like a waterfall thing and all that. So we had a really nice weekend. We've not been together, all of us, properly for ages. And we've all turned 40 this year, so we thought we'll go and have a weekend away. Oh, I have not laughed. Oh, like that for ages. It was, oh, we had such a good time. So I didn't take any knitting with me, so I didn't get much done over the weekend. And then yesterday I wasn't really in the right place for it. So there are all my works in progress. Um, I haven't worked on my um, mitered square blanket this time. Is there anything else? No, that's the only other thing I had on the go at the moment. So yeah, I've not done any squares on that. Um, but as I said, I have got some acquisitions, um, mainly um, the colours for my um, Stephen West knit along and then another acqui acquisition just because I wanted to. So um, I got my um, knit along colours from Wool Warehouse. These are all commercial yarns because um, I wanted to save a bit of money on the knit along um, so I have chosen for I think for the main colour I will use this dark navy which is by Cascade Yarns it's their heritage um, yarn Cascade Heritage Solids um, it's 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon um, colour 5744 <laughs> the name is sorry that's my pen the name is navy um, but it's a really nice I don't know if you can see but within it oh you can there's like little flecks of like purple almost within so I think that'll knit up really nice so I've got the 200 grams of that so two skeins of the um navy then my um contrast color i have gone with this which is by fiber spates vivacious four ply this color is shoreline it's a hundred percent merino this one 
um, 399 yards per 100 grams. Vivacious four ply. So this is Shoreline. It's coming out fly um, bluer on the screen. It's more. It's not that blue. It's a bit greener. Um, so there's my main colour and contrast colour. And then for my for my um, what's the last one called? The accent. I've got this. I mean, it's blowing out like crazy, but it's like a neon orange, basically. You can't see it at all. <laughs> it's a neon orange. Um, so, these are my three colours. Which I'm really pleased with. I, was, I thought this wouldn't be as bright as it is, but as you can see, it's pretty bright. I was hoping for more of a pink, like more of a corally colour but I'm happy with that. I think that works nice. So this is the Socks Yeah by Coop Knits and this is Colourway Argon. This is Merino Nylon 7525. Fingering weight. So they're my colours. Um, I'm not going to be tempted by anything else at Yarndale. Hopefully. So, um, I will be spending some money at Yarndale. I have got some leftover money from our Florida trip um, that's on a card. Um, so I'll take that card. I'm not going to go mad, but I would like to get... I would like a new um, project bag, a bigger one for my MCAL project and I would like some self-striping I think and then see whatever floats my boat. I'm taking my friend Becky, it's her first ever yarn show, she's just got into crocheting and wants to get into knitting so I'm very much going to be encouraging her. Um, yes, I fear I may be a massive enabler so apologies in advance Becky and my other um, acquisition was some um, yarn from Jude at Stranded Dye Works um, I've been watching Jude's channel for ages and his colourways are always so pretty and well thought out and I love the names that he chooses. So this is Flower Crown. So it's a kind of grey but almost got some purple in it like some mauve um, and it's got colourful speckles. This is Flower Crown. And this is on the Merino DK. So it's 100% Merino. DK, um, you get 250 metres per 115 gram skein. Does say machine washable. So I've got three skeins of that because I would like to make myself a little sort of cape poncho thing. So I found a pattern which is called Rosa's Caponcho. I just put a picture in. And um, this, I found one particular project on Ravelry um, that I really liked the variation that they did because it had sort of a sort of relaxed, almost a cowl neck, which was, I'll put a picture of that as well, which was by someone called LC Makes, it was their variation. Um, and they put some notes in um, their Ravelry project to say how they did it. So I'm gonna um, hopefully have enough yarn in here to make that and I think that'll be really nice neutral enough but with some little pops um of the speckles you know there's some really nice speckles in there different colours here look 
so yeah I think that'll be really pretty so I might um, cake those up I also have some plans so a friend of mine, Shannon, at work is having a baby in November so I want to make her something. She's having a little boy um, and I really like this um, little vest pattern that I've seen, like a little waistcoat. It's called the Mayfair Vest by Sophie McCain, McCain. Um, and you can use leftovers and minis for it. So I've got these two greys like a dark and a light so I thought I might do the dark for the back the light for the front and either the yellow or the green because Shannon's favourite colour is yellow I'm not sure if the green might look better I don't know so I'll see because I really like the version with the orange but I don't want it to look I mean, it doesn't matter now, girly boy. It don't, don't matter, does it really, colours anymore? But um, that one's in like a peach. It's got a peach on the back, but I don't, I don't want to do peach. Um, and I don't know whether to also make her a blanket. I've got loads of leftover, like double knitting, like acrylic, which I could do a crochet blanket if I have the time. Or I could always use some of my... Um, could read this and um, make a little blanket using these. could always do that because I don't know if I'll have time to make what with it being the the knit along I might just use these and make a nice you know there's all different colours I think it'll be lovely. Yep so make a little blanket for little baby using that so that is it I don't think I bought anything else oh I have got my advent calendar from Bird and Blend I'm not opening it I'm being really good I don't even want to see the packaging Well, the 1st of December, so it's hiding in here. Looking forward to that. You get two tea bags each, two bag tea bags in each opening day, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so that'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. And then I do have my yarn advent calendar as well coming. So that's it. I'm done. Nothing else to talk about. No, okay, so. By next time, it will be, what will it be? It might be the week that the MCAL starts, might it? I think it will be, it'll be the week that it starts, that'll be on next. So I will have, I promise you, I will have that jumper finished and the magpie tendencies finished because I want them both finished before that. I might cast on this little thing for the baby. Okay, cut my my yarn for the MK and get that ready. And I might get these caked up. Oh, though I've got stuff on my what have I got on my make now that I need to get done? Billy, the daily that's done. That'll be in the thing. So I've got a sweater, a colourwork sweater, the Forestland sweater, put a picture in. And I want to do the Snuggle is Real as well for Christmas. And the Lapoof Cardi, I want to get that cast on. I might get started on the Snuggle is Real to be honest because that's a present. Although I've put that down for November, but I don't want to be rushing, you know. I might get that cast on and just get it going. And I don't have to rush it. I might do that. So to make that for my husband, which we know what happened last time with the cardigan. This grey. 
which is from the Woolly Tangle. It's colourway slate grey. And then I've got Sugar and Spice from um, Truly Hooked. So they're the two colours. And then on the inside you do um, a Surrey Alpaca on the inside. So I've got either this, it's almost like a purpley, or I've got the red, which sort of matches. Which I was going to use this for something else, but... Uh, <laughs> not for me, not for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know, what do you think? This purpley, almost purpley, I think that would look nice, but that might go better. It's just the lining and like the draw, the drawstring thing. I might cake these up today so I've at least made the effort. I think I might go with the red. But then I don't know what the hell I use this for. It's a funny colour that. That's nice with that though. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that's I bought that originally, but I think that works better. And that's by that's by Ducky Darlings, that's Fuchsia. And this is Twilight from Truly Hooked. I'll have a look at the pattern again and see, but I think that red might be better. So, there you go, that's another thing. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear. So yeah, that's it, I'm done. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're planning on working on. Is there any things that you're trying to get finished off before the MCAL starts or before or if you got any Christmas gifts going let me know what you're making if you're making anything for Christmas or any if you got any baby gift patterns that you like I mean there's loads of the tin can knits patterns isn't there I could do a little flax or something but I thought a little they could wear them over the baby grows that look really cute the little vest I don't know yes so that's what I will be working on over the next couple of weeks so yeah let me know what you're planning on doing if you've got anything to finish off if you're going to Yandale I'm going on the Sunday so if you're going and you see me give me a wave let me know that you watch it'd be nice to see you um and that's it so have a lovely two weeks take care of yourself and happy knitting and I'll see you again in two weeks time bye